not that I don't want you here yeah. It's something about the way you sent my eyes I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist you We can get away, palm trees, beach views, food and everything All I wanna hear is in the visions I replay Someone next to you how I feel about you, you feel as you ain't We don't really want to, I just wanna get away Sit right next to you camera on this phone looks so much better oh my gosh i'm so excited i got my new phone last night which i kind of unboxed with y'all but can we just talk about the camera quality of this one i just prefer android cameras to iphone camera um cameras i just feel like it makes me iphone camera makes me look crazy i don't like the way it looks so Another home update. I just received fabric samples from Rove Concepts and I wanna show y'all um, what they look like. But first, let me show y'all the two options I was thinking of getting and then we'll talk about how the actual fabric looks compared to how it looks online. Cause that's a major key. Like it looks so different um, in person than it does online. So let me show y'all. So. First of all, we, we're scrapping this chair because I can't, um, I don't want to have to worry about not being able to send it back if I don't like it. So these are the two options for the chairs. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it looks like it looks in person. I don't know. Okay, so these are the two options, right? And these are the fabric samples. Am I tripping or does this not look? Like, does this look way darker in person than it does right there? They almost, they look pretty similar right here. But in person, like, that's a whole different vibe than this. They look similar to me. Like, they look like, there doesn't seem to be, like, a super major difference with this. And I don't get brown. I know It's called latte, which is why you, which is why I ordered a fabric a sample. But when I look at this, I don't see this like I don't like this I was very much considering ordering this and now I'm like um no that's brown it's just straight up brown like yeah that ain't gonna work so I ordered some additional fabric samples and yeah we'll see what happens when they come but this is no longer an option I just wanted to give y'all a quick update um also don't quite know if I want I think I might go back to my original idea of having black legs on the chairs just because now that I'm no longer considering this counter stool I don't need to kind of accommodate for it in that way so I could probably go back to my original idea of doing black and white and do maybe this fabric with the black frame on the chairs and then we just gotta figure out some kind of option for black and white over here. That is um, where we are. I'm low key a little bit shook cause I really did not think it would be that color. That color is not what I imagined it would look like. So that is what's happening. We might go to the movies later cause Avatar came out today. Today's December 16th. Y'all, I'm actually, super bored with editing these videos from months ago like I'm still editing September no October and I'm over it so I'm like I'm about to just like pick out the most important parts of each video and like cram them all together because it's just too much and I'm ready to I'm ready to get to where y'all can act like where the videos are being posted more closer to real time so that you guys can actually give me feedback and I can you know have a conversation about things and it's not stuff that happened two months ago because <laughs> right now the stuff that I'm posting is like from so long ago that I mean even if you do have an opinion I won't be able to it won't be factored into what I end up doing and I won't be able to like make decisions based on what y'all say because it happened two months ago. <laughs>
have coats and jackets and then like long sleeve shirts. I think what I'm gonna do is move, actually. Let's move the coats and jackets on this side. I feel like y'all can't see. I'm gonna put coats and jackets on this side, then sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, um, pants, and then short sleeve shirts and summer stuff, I think is the how I'm gonna do it. I look crazy, I just woke up. But, um, and I'm whispering because the kids are asleep. But it's time to, first of all, it's a work day. I gotta um, go downstairs and start working. But also, I need to wash my washing machine. So I bought these um, washing machine cleaner tablets from Amazon. I'm about to throw one in and run a self-cleaning cycle. So the washing machine can, you know, be rejuvenated. Um, I'm gonna try to do it once a month try to remember to do it once a month uh we've had this washing machine for about two months so yeah it's time to do it all right so i just opened it and it actually says you should use it twice a month so and you get 24 tablets so it's a year supply look at the amount of laundry that i need to do what is this the heck I have no idea what that is okay so I'm gonna run a self clean cycle and then just drop one of these in I think so yeah drop that in and then start the cycle I think that's all you got to do There are a couple other things happening today. One, uh, we're getting the windshield replaced on the car. So the technician should be here between eight and 12. Right now it is 7.52. So he should be here. Hopefully, I'm hoping that he comes early. And then I got a delivery from 1-800 Baskets. I just happened to see this on the table this morning. I had no idea where it came from. I thought it might have come from my job, but um, I got found the card on the inside, opened it up, and it actually came from our realtor. Um, she said, happy holidays to you all. It was such a pleasure working with you, and I hope you are enjoying your new home. Megan McFeeters. I'll put her information on the screen again for y'all because we loved her. We absolutely loved her. Working with her was great. She was amazing. She followed up. Y'all know it took us a year and a half to do to get this house from start to finish. And um, even before that, we were looking at other houses with her. So um, during that time when we were waiting to like, when we were on the waiting list, she would follow up every month. She would like, anytime we had a question, she would make sure to get in touch with um, like this neighborhood and make sure that, you know, our questions were answered. And she was just so, so, so great to work with. So if you're in, the DMV area, if you're in, you know, Maryland, DC, Virginia, I'm pretty sure she's uh, licensed in all three states. Um, yeah, I'm positive that she's licensed in all three states. And well, DC's not a state, but you know what I mean? All three areas. And she's like, as far as Eastern Shore, Maryland, to all the way down here to, you know, everywhere. So if you're in Northern Virginia, if you're in Maryland, or if you're in DC, give her a call. I promise you will not be disappointed with, with her service. Um, I do wanna show y'all the basket because it's really, really nice. So we have some Cheryl's cookies. We have some, what is this? Popcorn Factory kettle corn. We have some Popcorn Factory butter toffee popcorn, some Moose Munch. Uh, David and Harry and David Moose Munch Cocoa Mix and then we have another cookie and I think this is also a cookie back here you guys can't really see it really thoughtful really thoughtful we closed three months ago so for her to even still be thinking about us was amazing so right now I actually need to sweep this floor because it is terrible
Christmas tree since it went up. I'm all over the place. Here's a Christmas tree. Turned out cute. Okay, so Safe Light is here. About to give them the keys and let them do their thing. All right, so now that the closet is done, the only thing left to do is patch all the holes from the old closet system that was in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this dry dex to basically just plaster all the holes on the wall and then once it dries, it goes on pink, dries white, so it'll be easy to, to know when it's actually dry. And once it dries, all we have to do is sand it down and then paint over it, so. we got this week we got melty monterey jack burgers brown sugar bourbon pork meat loaves matzo what the freak that's not the what i ordered hold on okay they sent me two of the wrong meals i actually um corrected the wrong Still sent me the ones I didn't order, which means they're gonna give me a credit for these. Cause I didn't order these. So I guess we still gonna eat them since they're here. But um, I was not trying to order this firecracker meatballs meal or this mozzarella and herb chicken. Cause I just didn't think that everybody would like it. Especially this one, cause it comes with, what is this, couscous as opposed to rice. I was about to ask what that was. Can you go grab my computer real quick? But yeah, I'm just gonna pick one for dinner and I'm gonna uh, chat with them and let them know that they sent me the wrong meals. And for dinner tonight, I think we're gonna do maybe the meatloaves. I feel like that'll be pretty easy, but then I gotta make mashed potatoes. I hate having, having to make mashed potatoes. This I can make fries with, but then this I can make rice with. Chicken or beef, basically. I think I'm gonna go with the firecracker meatballs just because hopefully it's not too hard. So I know some people be saying that they have issues with HelloFresh. I never have any issues with them, with the exception of that one time that I told y'all about. Um, but let me show y'all. I just went online. I didn't have to chat with anybody. All I did was told them that, basically um, said that the whole meal was missing they gave me a $63 credit. So that's half of what I paid for this whole box. So the credit will be in my account in a couple days and that's it. I didn't have to talk to anybody. I didn't have to fight to get my money back. There it is. Okay, it's the next day. Just got back from Walmart. Had to do a, um, had a pickup order that I needed to get. And actually, Y'all know, well, some of y'all know, I always buy my kid, my girls bare paw boots every winter. Um, they actually had this like, it's kind of like the Coolabura Uggs, but they had a cheaper bare paw version in Walmart. So it's this Paws by Bear Paw. So I got some of these for Corey, some little boots, because she didn't have the ones from last year anymore. She couldn't fit them. So I got, or maybe she messed them up. I don't know. They didn't make it to the new house. I saw somebody had this power paste 
and a scrub daddy. I already love scrub daddies anyway, but she had the power paste and she used it like on a ceramic pan. Y'all know I have those white ceramic pans. So I'm going to see if this will clean it up like it did hers. So yeah, we're going to try that out. Wait, come back. I didn't, Cody. I'm trying to get up, but I can't. I'm on the blocky mermaid. All right, now I'm about to run to Walmart. I want to see, because Christmas is in three days. Yeah, three days. So I want to see if they have. <clears throat> Corey's bike because I was trying to get her a bike because she said she wanted one but um I did a pickup order for it and they were out of stock so couldn't get it I'm about to run in here and see if they got any more inventory so that I can get her a bike if they have it if not I'll get it after Christmas like it ain't a huge deal I want to get King some pillows I need to get some milk I don't really need groceries I don't think just milk so that's what I'm about to get maybe get the kids something or easy lunch they really don't be having the pillows I'm looking for in stock is this it oh here it is spoke too soon I just need two for King for his bed got a few groceries they can have sandwiches for lunch so I got some lunch meat and cheese they have exactly two of these pillows which is exactly how many I need so that's perfect Ugh. and this is the one I get the memory foam cluster pillows They just hold up really well. And because they have like the clusters in them, you can really fluff them and make them look nice. All right, now we're going over to bikes and see if they got a bike for Corey. And I think that's all I need. So we'll be heading home after this. So I'm looking for basically this bike, but in 18 inches, not 20, because I think that's probably a little too big for her. And she needs the trainer wheels. This one, I think, is a little too small. It's a 16 inch. She's kind of tall for her age. So I want an 18 because it'll be still small enough, but also big enough for her to grow into, but also have um, training wheels, which she needs. This is cute, but I'm not paying over $100 for a bike for her that I don't even know if she'll use. This is super cute but it's too small 16 inch that is the only 18 inch bike that i see hmm. this is kind of cute i feel like this might be cute on kane's bed i was thinking about getting him a controller pillow anyway and this one has the right colors so i'm gonna try to see how it looks if i don't like it i'll just bring it back all right y'all i just got back from the store I had to go grab my computers So why am I back in the car? Because apparently our shampoo is lost. So I had to run to um, Family Dollar and buy more shampoo so I can start Cody's hair. I couldn't wash it without shampoo. So I got two different kinds. Usually what I'll do is get the clarifying shampoo, the suave clarifying shampoo. I need to find a different clarifying shampoo, but I just have not had time to like research it. So if y'all know of a good clarifying shampoo, drop a comment and let me know because I'm looking for something that's not as harsh but I needed to take all of the um, build up out of her hair because her hair holds on to whatever you put in it so got a shampoo comb just to make it a little bit gentler when I'm detangling her hair I got this is the one I got maple remedy the Garnier whole blends I've never tried this before so this is gonna be something new also trying a new braiding gel I'm gonna use this for like the parts and stuff. I don't know that I'm gonna use it down her whole hair because I like the I like the um just for me grip glaze, but um we'll try this out too. Maybe we'll do a combination. And this is the daily the clarifying shampoo I was telling y'all about.
Kane's care, care, his chair just got built. Let me see. Stand up real quick. All of this stuff that I buy will be on my Amazon store if y'all interested. Um, but he likes it. The one thing I'll say about this chair is that it doesn't lean back really, but it seems to be good quality. Otherwise, we'll see how it holds up over time. But yeah, oh, so he got what? If that's how you feel, we should get a different chair. But yeah, so he got this. His desk is also from Amazon. Um, and yeah. I think, I mean, I didn't really get to see his bed made and put together with the pillow, but I think it looks pretty good. So I think we'll keep it. And then Cody's desk also got put together yesterday, which I don't think I showed y'all yet. So her desk is up and so is her chair. So her little office is ready to go. I feel like it's hard for me to like show y'all how much space is here, but you can see there's enough space for me to like almost fit. <laughs> and when I'm, I can definitely fit sideways, but like walking straight on, I, it's barely, um, or not really. But yeah, there's enough room for her to get right here. There's enough room for her um, drawers to come out and all that. So she has more than enough space in here for her stuff to be. And then her pillow has a little, let me show y'all. Her pillow, she has a lumbar pillow too, but then it also has a USB um, cord because it has a massager inside of it, which I'm assuming is mostly just like vibration and not... I'm assuming it's vibration and not like, um, I don't think there's like any balls in there moving around and stuff like that. Um, I got her this mouse pad. Everything in here is from Amazon. So her desk is from Amazon. Her mouse pad's from Amazon. Her chair's from Amazon. Um, there is no plug in her closet. So I went ahead and ordered a ext an extension cord that is kind of thin so that it can come from right here and then trail into her closet. I bought a 10 foot cord, extension cord with, it's like a, um, not an extension cord. It's a, what's that thing called? When it's like multiple plugs and um, USB ports and a type C port on her, on the thing. I can't, here's a picture of it y'all. Cause I can't even think right now. But yeah, so she got that so that she can plug up all of her stuff inside her computer, inside of her um closet slash office. <laughs> huh? What did Cody get? She got this chair and the desk. Oh, I'll show y'all her hair in a minute. I'm nowhere near done with that. But I feel like y'all can't really see the full gist of how this is looking in person. Because I feel like it looks smaller on camera. Let me back up. But in person, she has quite a bit of room. But yeah, so her closet is pretty much done. I think the only other thing I'm going to do is add a couple of shelves up here. And then she'll be able to put all of her like makeup brushes and lip glosses and perfumes and school supplies and whatever else she has into maybe some little containers to stand things up on, on the shelves. But I think that's pretty much it. And then her closet will be done. Still got to come back and sand down these areas and then put paint on them. But not tonight <laughs> i started some of the braids let me see cody why are these chairs in the floor like this you, you were supposed to vacuum earlier you never yeah. did yeah. come here let me show them your hair no, turn around so i'm trying knotless braids this time turn this way so they actually are turning out pretty good they don't look terrible I guess I'll finish them tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> Maybe a little, it'll take a little bit of both days to get it all the way done. How this house keeps getting this messy, I don't know. What'd you say? Alexa, turn the lights on, daylight. Should I vacuum before or after? Okay. <sighs> you might as well wait till after, after dinner to vacuum. Okay. Just vacuum over there so you can put all of the chairs and stuff back.
your birthday. Happy birthday, King. Not you going back to sleep. I'm done. Okay, yeah, I know I look crazy. Ignore my hair. Ignore how I look. But I am repurchasing the furniture for the family room. And I'm sitting here st staring at this number. And I'm just like freaking out on the inside. Because <laughs> it's so much money. But I'm going to go ahead and send the order through. <laughs> Uh, just as a reminder, here's what I'm ordering. I'm ordering the Big Sur Deep Seat Grand Sofa, 105 inch. I'm doing the bench seat with three back pillows. And then the fabric is the Sunbrella Performance Chenille Fabric in Salt. And then I'm doing the exact same thing for the Balboa Upholstered Swivel Armchairs. They're in 40 inch, 40 inches is the size. Um, also in the Sunbrella Performance Chanel fabric, and I'm getting two of those, one of the couch, and that's the order. So I'm going to go ahead and send it through, and it will not come until February. It is now December. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, the order has been placed. All we have to do now is wait until February <laughs> for it to be delivered.